one of the things that really surprised me as I started getting older was my surprise. I mean, I was supposed to be an expert on aging. I'd been doing research on it for, I don't know, 20 some years. I'd gotten a PhD, I'd written books, I'd written almost 100 research articles. And then one day I looked in the mirror and I had this crease over my left eyebrow. And it was like kind of a revelation that this thing about aging doesn't just apply to other people. Oh my gosh, it applies to me. So I was really surprised that I was surprised. But I did this painting. It's about feeling like I'm entering an alien universe. And it's the galaxy of the old one. And in my baggage, I'm holding my younger versions of myself, because that's still me. <laughs> and there I'm, I'm entering this very gingerly, you know, am I, am, am I going to be part of this? Is this going to be still okay? Is this, is this really a real world? Well, the last image is kind of a resolution of that, the end of the book. I think there are something like, you know, a hundred million women who are 60 and over in the world, <laughs> or maybe more than that now. And I'm joining this whole universe, this whole population of women, of vibrant women. Um, and because, you know, I'm beginning to accept it. You know, maybe you never completely accept it, but you, you're beginning to realize that you're really not alone. You're part of this universe. And so I show myself with my paintbrush in hand, reaching out to this population of women on Earth. And, and the image is of, a, of an Earth, not of an alien planet anymore, but it's Earth. And women all over the Earth who are older and are, are there and are experiencing it are reaching out to welcome me. The art that I do on aging really combines my background as a professional gerontologist, my personal encounters with aging, and my love of color and art and texture and drawing. Um, so it really combines it. One of the themes that I've done is called the Sisterhood of Sleeplessness. I was sitting with some friends one day and we were talking and we all, all of a sudden realized that all of us had been awake at two in the morning. And it started me thinking that one of the things that happens with aging is that you start not being able to sleep as well. So I pictured us like a sisterhood all over the city. We're, we're in our windows looking out and each of us is awake and nobody else knows that we're part of this sisterhood at the time, but in fact, <laughs> we, we're all part of this. This image shows me as giving birth to myself all over again. Through my art, the woman is, is in a birthing position and the glass art is all around me. The art is like a new life for me. It's like giving birth, blooming into color. You know, color is just spilling out of me. And that's really what's happening in my life. And I think, you know, as, as an older person, I'm just taking everything I, everything that's in my soul, all the richness of years that I've had, and putting that into my art. With the glass, I mean, it's heavy and it's, you know, working sort of inside of it, working upside down. Um, making sure that the proportions are okay, even though <laughs> I'm working on it in pieces and, and upside down. As I've worked on this, I've developed different approaches to it, and I never know exactly where it's going to change. I started out working very solidly, and then just recently I've started doing some pieces where I've left a lot of the glass open. Um, and then you really have a sense of the kind of liquidity of glass. People often just sort of see themselves. You know, that's my own experience, that's me. You know, oh, the breakdown of movable parts, I just know exactly what that means. Um, and sometimes people just laugh, you know, they just laugh because it's funny. And you know, life is just funny. By the time you get to really understand life, you're old. 
<laughs> so it, it's, a, it's kind of almost a cosmic joke. <laughs> and I use a lot of whimsy in my art, and in the glass art, in, in the illustrations for the book, just to kind of express that, okay, I'm living this, and there's some things that are difficult about it, and I'm just going to have a good time with it. <laughs>